Hello everyone, welcome to my tapping channel. Today we're going to be tapping on a very famous affirmation, things are always working out for me. It's a really good affirmation to do some positive tapping with because it can help create the feeling of being safe, being secure, being okay, even if the situation around you is causing a lot of turmoil, causing a lot of challenge or a lot of doubt. This affirmation, especially when you're tapping with it, can help you get back into the feeling of being safe and being okay, because that is what you're looking for. And if you're into the law of attraction at all, you're going to want to create the feeling of the wish fulfilled so that you can have what it is that you want. And with things are always working out for me, that can help you give information to the universe to let the universe know that what you're wanting is things to work out for you. And so things are more likely to work out for you. Before we do the tapping though, my name is Sandra. I am the author of Tapping Into Abundance using EFT tapping and the law of attraction to change your mindset and turn your life around. If you want to do some coaching with me, you're just not sure what that would look like or you're just not clear about where you may be stuck in your life and how to move forward, I do offer a free 30 minute clarity session to help you get clear about where you're stuck and what you can do moving forward. There's a link in the description field below this video to show you how you can book a clarity session. And I also have an online course called How to Heal Your Shadow Through Balancing Your Energy Centers, which is a combination of tapping and chakra work. And that is a free masterclass. And that link's in the description field below this video as well. So let's look at what that affirmation actually is, it, things are always working out for me. When you say that if affirmation, there may be a part of you that feels doubtful. If so, where do you feel that doubt? In your body. You may feel it in the heart chakra. You may feel it in the solar plexus chakra. They're probably the two main places that you'll feel it. But if you were to feel into that again, things are always working out for me. And imagine that whatever situation you may be worried about at the moment, what would it feel like for that to work out really well? If you're worried about a certain amount of money coming in or not coming in, if that money came in, what would that feel like? You know, just what would it feel like to see the money come in in whatever way it would come in, whether that's coming into your bank account whether that is um, coming in through uh, PayPal's or if you're in business or whether that is um, coming through some other means of receiving money, what would it feel like to just go into the bank account and see that extra money there? Just at the right time, just at the nick of time it's there. What does that feel like? It doesn't have to be a big feeling. It can just be a sense of relief. What is that feeling? You don't even need to name it if you don't want to. Just visualizing what that would feel like to see that money there and to know that you know, you've got that there for whatever reason you, need, you want to have it there, whether it's just to add to your savings or whether it is to you know, pay bills or whatever. That visualization and putting yourself in that imaginary scenario is going to help you get in, your body is actually going to feel what that feels like. It's going to feel the relief when you see it there because your subconscious mind can't tell the difference between what's real and what's imagined. And when you're tapping on that at the same time, it's going to help you feel even more into that. So we're just going to tap on the points with that affirmation. You can use that affirmation to visualize yourself in whatever scenario you would like to be in, that you'd like relief in. It could be health, it could be wealth, it could be love, it could be success, it could be anything. Just whatever it is that you really feel you want things to work out for you, feel the end result of what that would be and then just do this tapping with me, starting with the eyebrow point. Things are always working out for me. When I feel into this, 
and I put myself into that situation. Feeling the relief. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. Even when I feel they're not. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. And even if there's doubt, I can say to myself, what if things always work out for me? What if I am that person now where things always work out for me? Even if they've never done that in the past. Or it doesn't seem like it has. What if I'm now the kind of person who always has things working out for them. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. The right people come along. The right situation comes along. Often at the last minute. And no matter what my ego says, No matter what my inner critic says, things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. I look with wonder. at how these things work out for me. I'm excited. I'm in awe. Of how things are working for me. The miracles that just happen. How they're working out for me. And I look with wonder at that which is before me. I look with wonder at how it's all going to work out for me.
things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. I'm in awe at how they work out for me. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. Taking a deep breath and letting it out. Whenever you're feeling doubt, whenever you're feeling worried, start tapping on things are always working out for me so that you can bring that feeling into your body, that feeling of confidence, that feeling of yes, it can happen for me. So keep tapping on that affirmation and if any negative beliefs do come in any of those tail enders do come in that say oh it's not possible for me um, it never works out for me then tap on those things too. make a note of the negative things to tap on and then tap on those and then come back to tapping on things are always working out for me Often the positive affirmations can actually reveal the negative beliefs that are underneath or hiding or lurking in your subconscious mind. So the positive tapping can bring those beliefs out and that's okay. When they're out and you can see them, you can tap on them and you can clear them. But if they're still in the subconscious mind, you're not going to know they're there and they're still going to be sabotaging you. So tap on any negative beliefs that come up as a result of the positive tapping and then continue to do the positive tapping. And that will help you feel into what it feels like to be somebody who experiences things always working out for them. If you do want to do any coaching with me you, and you need more clarity about where you're stuck in your life and you want to do the deep dive and the work to release all those negative beliefs and blockages, book in a free 30 minute clarity session with me. There's a link in the description field below this video that shows you how you can do that. And if you also want to look into your chakras and how working with that, the shadow and the chakras can help you not only balance your energy, but also to work with the different beliefs that are sabotaging you at each chakra level. Take a look at my free masterclass called How to Heal Your Shadow Through Balancing Your Energy Centers. There's a link in the description field below this video. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Sandra and I will see you on the next video.